Hello everyone and welcome back to CRGTR channel. So today this video I will show you guys how to paint or color white hair in Medibank Pen Pro. Okay, now I'm using the flat brush. You can download it from Medibank Cloud and I'm working on layer 3 right now. Um, so the skin is on layer 2 and working in the separate layer will help me to not making mess later. So I picking the color that's the kind of gray, blue gray right now and paint it around for the base color. Uh, now I will move the color to a darker a little bit here. So important things when you paint white hair is the construct look because the white will appear so it is really hard for you to make the construct so that's why you will use the gray looking here for the base color and you can go to the lighter color later for showing a pair of uh, white hair. Now I will use some lighter color put it a little bit here kind of like still have a little bit blue and I will use the flat brush to pan around the head here where the light is showing After that, you can see that I need more construct look, so that's why I pick the darker color and pan around the neck in some place that the light cannot reach, like this. And with that, I will create the look of the hair, and you can see that how realistic it will look later. Then you pick the lighter colors here to add more white for the hair to showing that uh, the, the light is appear in your hair. Sometimes you can decrease the size for more detail if you think that you can go into the detail a little bit here. And if there's some part that you think that the light will appear a lot, you can increase the size of the brush to pan around it. Now I will create a new layer and choose Clipping as a layer file here and choose Blending e Uh Using airbrush and pick the base color of the hair. So I will pan around here to make the effect that the hair is shining here. So after that I feel okay with the result. I merge two layers together and decrease the size of the flat brush pick the gray one to create the look of the strand here and then go pick the 
light color that uh, the white color in here to draw the strand here here you see we are creating the details of the hair Then you will decrease the size of your brush and starting to paint the shiny place. Draw every single strand here if you need to here to make the detail look. Use airbrush and watercolor wet to blending in some place that you think is need to blending for me is around this part here. And then use the flat brush again with the small side and pan around here to make the detail look of the hair. Now I will create the layer 5 the, and chain it to the blending add so I can make the hair look shiny. Use airbrush and decrease the size as small as you can here to draw the single strand hair to make the effect that the hair is shining. Of course you can see that the background here is a dark background. With this dark background you can make the hair and easy to see how white it is. If you turn up the background, you can see how it looks like, like this. Okay. There is some tricks that I always do that after I using the app blending here, I will change the brush to mapping pen and then choose transparent box. So with that, I will erase some part that I need to to make the shiny part look more details like I draw every single strand here. here. Now just spend your time to put more details for the hair 
and just have fun with that until you're satisfied with your result. That is all about this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and see you next time.